think binge watching, it may be the ugliest term that you could contrive, but it's a wonderful phenomenon. What it means is that you, the viewer, are in charge. You know, it used to be that you had to wait for the commissioners and the schedulers to decide what you were going to watch and when you were going to watch it. Nowadays, that's all gone. You decide what you are going to do when you decide that you want to do it. Netflix, when they released House of Cards, they, they were trying to change the, the rules of television, if you like. They saw a new internet era where they could put the customer in charge, rather than waiting for the old traditional television to decide what they were going to do. But if you're going to be true to that point of view, you really have to put the viewer in charge and make it their decision. So by releasing it all at once, they put the viewer in charge, whereas if they'd only release it a dribble a bit at a time, uh, the viewer would still be at the beck and call of the, the, the broadcaster. So it, a, it is a revolution in the way that we watch television. Very brave people who decided to do it and who committed all of their money to, to doing it, but it's a, it's a gamble that's paid off in spades. It's like opening a, a great novel. As a reader, you go somewhere comfortable, to your bed or your armchair, and you open that novel and you read just as much as you want for as long as you want. You put it down and then you come back to it in your own time. And so you get the maximum enjoyment out of that novel for you. And binge viewing, if you like, is exactly the same thing. You watch how much you want, when you want, and put it aside for the next time. And it's a great liberating tool of television.